This, this, and this are all completely free. Hi folks, I'm Mike and I hope you will. Don't forget to follow the VIP link in the description down below if you want to get 7% off of our sponsor for this video, DistroKid. Now let's dive into those three plugins. This is Pitch Drift from Baby Audio. I've got it applied to an acoustic piano, which we're going to hear first of all without this plugin applied. Now I'm going to switch the plug-in on and I have to warn you before you hear this, you may end up feeling a little seasick. Now as you can hear, this plug-in is indeed making some variations to the pitch of the audio that we're hearing. Now, I think the idea behind this plugin really is to use it fairly subtly to mimic the natural variations we actually get in pitch with some acoustic instruments. Just for the time being though, we're gonna to continue to use it in a sort of an extreme way, just so you can clearly hear what the controls actually do. Now, the first control is the amount control. This just uh, determines the amount of actual pitch variation there is. Let's put it down low first of all and have a listen. So that's pretty subtle. If we put it all the way up to the top, it's not very subtle at all. So there's a lot of sort of fairly natural sounding variation in pitch there. Well, natural if it was a broken tape recorder. <laughs> now, the other thing that we can adjust apart from the amount is the speed. If we hover over this middle display, we can see the speed is set to 50 at the moment. And if I drag up and down, I can change it. So let's put the speed all the way up like so. Have a listen now. think you get the idea there. Now, it's probably going to be rare that you will use it in this kind of extreme way. Let me show you how I ended up using it um, in my test project here. If we go to my project, here I am in Catewalk. I'm just going to get rid of that plug-in on that piano there. Now, let me show you what I did. I've got the original piano up here. You heard that a moment ago. I then made some duplicates of that. And you can see these two tracks here. Now, what I actually did then was to slightly adjust the timing on them. I offset them just a little bit. If we zoom in here, just get in a little closer, you can kind of see there, if I just move this over, the, the second one and the third one are sort of staggered from the original. That's just to create a little bit of variation in time. Okay, the next thing that I did was I actually panned the first one all the way to the left and the second one all the way to the right. I then added the pitch drift plug into each of these. Now, if I pull up the first one here, I'll just pin that like so, and I'll pull up the second one and pin that. What I want you to take notice of here is I've got some slightly different uh, settings for each one. The exact settings don't matter, but the variation really sort of helps. So with the first one, the amount is set to 22. With the second one, the amount is set to 17. With the first one, the speed is set to 46, the second one 55. So I just didn't want them to be identical, although they're reasonably sort of close in nature. Now, what I'm going to do is play that piano as we heard it at the beginning. Um, we're just going to hear it without this applied, and then I'll switch these on so you can hear the effect that I'm getting. using a piano here just for demonstration purposes you could use this for any instrument and it could work really well on vocals as well you could even use it more subtly than that i can pretty much still still hear it there but it's great for adding width when you pan things left and right if you have these kind of subtle variations you definitely get more width in the sound this is how my guitar sounds without magic switch switched on Let's 
switch it on. Now, I wish I could waffle on for hours and hours about all of the advanced features hidden in this plugin, but, well, there isn't any. There is just an on-off switch. You could equally bypass this in your door. And there's a mix control to blend the dry signal with the wet signal. And that's really it. It follows the approach from the original Roland Juno. It's a very simplified chorus effect, the kind of sound that most of us want most of the time when we do apply chorus. Very simply implemented with the switch and the mix control. If you want it, follow the link in the description down below. You know, our final plugin is all about the roll of the dice, which reminds me of a fun feature our sponsor DistroKid has to get you on their Spotify playlist. One of the ways to get more listens to your music is to get on a Spotify playlist. Now, DistroKid makes this fun and easy for you to get on their playlist with a feature called the Wheel of Playlist. I'm going to go to the top of my DistroKid account here, click on the menu at the top there, then go down to Get Heard Now, and then click on Wheel of Playlist. The first thing I need to do is pick one of my songs, so I'll go ahead and pick one randomly here, and then I click on Connect with Spotify. I then have to agree that DistroKid can access my Spotify account, which I have done here, and then the Wheel of Playlist comes out. Now, the idea here is that you get uh, three spins and the best of these three spins determines how high up you are on the playlist. I'll click on the first one. Now, of course, the higher up you are on a playlist, the more likely it is that your music will get heard. I'll click again here and we've come up with what we got. Ooh, it's teasing me. 2,880. And then finally we have... Oh, 1,927 is the best result. Now, don't worry, you can play this every single day to increase your chances of getting a higher ranking. This is included for free with your DistroKid account. Follow the link in the description down below to get 7% off today. If you take some delay, some reverb and some modulation and mix them all up in a kind of a random fashion, you get magic dice. The idea with this plugin is every time you click in the middle here, you get a different random variation of those three effects. Let's just hear that in practice. <laughs> So you can see that every time I clicked in the middle there, we got a variation with those three effects applied. Now, there's no sort of thing from within the plugin to sort of save presets or call up presets or what have you. But I have found that once I have a sound which I like, I can save it as a preset from my usual controls from whatever door I'm using. So, for example, I have a light preset saved, which sounds like this. <laughs> And I have another one called Heavy, which sounds like this. Another one which I just called sort of Echo, which sounds like this. So if you do find a sound that you like, make sure you save it as a preset in your door. That way you'll have access to that same sound again in the future. Follow the link in the description down below to get this free plugin as well as the other plugins included in this video. You know, not all free plugins are worth the time it will take you to download and test them, which is why I hunt them down and put them in these videos for you to discover. I've also put all of those videos in this playlist for you to click on now.